Salam alaikum, Azul Felawel. My name is Cecile LaRue. I am the life partner of Rashid Nikaz. I am his wife. I'm the mother of his son. And I am showing myself to you today after years and years of absence from social media because I am a very private person, number one, and number two, because Rashid himself had asked me not to intervene and not to get any foreign uh, powers to intervene if he were to ever be detained. He believes that his mission is a political mission and that he needs to resolve any um, issues that he has by himself in a political manner. However, today I would like to appeal for special reasons. Rashid is now in bad health. Apparently he has the beginnings of prostate cancer. His bile duct as well as um, an affected liver. So he's digestively and generally not in good health. I was told about a special law in Algeria, which is section 128, um, uh, special law number 128. Apparently under this law, a detainee can be released right away for medical reasons in order to be able to go to the hospital in order to be um, treated. And I ask that the government please consider doing that as fast as possible. It just so happens that at the same time, approximately, I'm not sure because I don't have a full report, but apparently around the same time that he learned about his prostatitis, prostatus, um, he was moved to the desert. Uh, we were not informed. We only found out when his brother went to visit him and found that he wasn't there. He was moved 800 kilometers south to the Saharan Desert, and apparently the nearest hospital is anywhere between 130 and 150 kilometers away. For that reason, I humbly ask for him to be released for health reasons, and for humanitarian reasons. This is a special situation. He's been detained for almost 15 months now, and he needs to be treated. I would like to thank all of his very faithful lawyers in Algeria who have been so encouraging, so constant, communicative, um, reassuring, uh, who keep the faith, who keep on visiting him and keep on reporting back to us uh, through the pandemic and through all of the difficult times. I would also like to thank the Algerian people um, who have sent such warm messages of encouragement and of courage and of love to me and my son. Thank you very much. And finally, I would like to appeal and thank the Algerian government for listening to this. I submit this request with all the humility in the world. I have known Rashid for 24 years plus, and he has always been a proponent of peace. He is a proponent of peaceful change. When he talks about change, he talks about peaceful change. He is well known for his expression, as I said in French, uh, his Arabic expression, duga duga, where he says, you know, slowly but surely, um, we can change things, we can make things better. And that is the sign of somebody who is nothing but peaceful. Thank you very much for listening. Again, I submit this to you with all humility. I hold my emotions back in order to make this appeal as earnest and as factual as possible. Thank you very much.